Old Alabama Gardener, and today I'm going to share with you three secrets for growing great tomatoes. All right, it's 27 July. So the question is, for all you Zone 7 and higher growers, how are your tomatoes doing? Now this variety of uh, cherry tomatoes is called Super Sweet 100s. And they are a very good cherry tomato to grow. Now I only have four plants in this 16 foot row. And these tomato plants have not been sprayed with any kind of herb, uh, pesticide. Uh, and there are no uh, tomato hornworms on these plants. And I think it's all because of the secret ingredients that I use when I'm growing them. They are producing quite well, certainly making more tomatoes than we want for our salads. And there is a lot of green tomatoes coming on these plants and the plants themselves are still putting out new growth. Because I'm going to tell you in a minute about the three secrets that I used on growing these tomatoes. And I'm going to show you some of it also. Now I always put a little bit of triple 13 fertilizer, Epsom salt, and eggshell powder in the planting hole. But that is not the secrets that I'm talking about in this video. So the first secret is comfrey leaves in the planting hole. And I'm going to put three or four leaves in this hole where I'm going to set this tomato. Now the granules that you see me add in, that's about a tablespoon of triple 13 fertilizer. Now let's set our tomato plant in the hole and we're going to get ready for secret number two. Now I'm adding the eggshell powder mixed with a little bit of vinegar and water. And I have other videos on how to do that that I can reference you to. Now I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Epsom salts. Kind of just sprinkle it around over the ground. So secret number two is rabbit poop soup. Now I'm calling this soup because it's much thicker than say com compost or manure tea. Now we're gonna fill in the hole around the plant and we're gonna get ourselves ready for secret number three. Always water your transplants well. Now secret number three is a foliar spray and it's gonna be sprayed with milk and I need to show you how to mix it and then we'll show you how to spray it. Now I'm using powdered milk because it's easy to store and that way I always have it on hand. But you can use uh, regular milk, skim milk, 2%, 4%, whole milk, doesn't matter. If you're using store-bought bottled milk, it would be one cup of milk to four cups of water. Now spray the tomato leaves uh, to the point of runoff. In other words, give them a good saturating. And be sure to spray on the underside of the leaves and spray the ground down around the bottom of the plant because that's where the mold and fungus and the bacterial wilt actually comes from. Okay, you get the idea. Spray your tomato plants. And now it's important that you start early, uh, probably within a week or so after you have set the tomato plants out. Don't wait too late. Now you see these tomatoes, this is, these are cherry tomatoes, and you see how they're growing. This trellis that I'm standing under is about six feet high, and these tomatoes are a good two feet, 
to three feet higher than that up there. And then, of course, when they get up high enough, they just lay over. And that's what you see all this in here. And you just saw all of the green tomatoes that's, that's going on in here. So let's try one of the ripe tomatoes and see what it tastes like. Here we go with this one. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Sweet. Got that little bit of a tart tomato taste. Mmm. Let me see if I can find another one. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say now, don't you? I wish I could give you this tomato. I wish I could give you this tomato just to try it. But, can't do it. You'll have to get out there and plant your own tomatoes and grow this. Use my three secrets. Grow some great tomatoes. Let's get on with it. Mmm, <laughs> mm, that's good. And I didn't even put any salt on it. It's still good.